Good morning, family of fast. Matt Mossman, the Chief Endurance Officer over at Endure Elite. Have you ever felt like your face is melting off or you get that pins and needles sensation on your skin after taking beta alanine and ever wonder why? Well, that's the question we're gonna answer today. So from previous videos, you know beta alanine is a very effective endurance enhancing supplement. 3.2 grams daily can help buffer muscle acidity, especially when exercise intensity gets really high. So it can help you go longer and stronger. So overall, a really good endurance enhancing supplement, but it does have one annoying side effect called paresthesia, which is a Again, it feels like your face is melting, the pins and needles uh, sensation on your skin. Now, right off the bat, paresthesia is a harmless side effect and that tingling has nothing to do with like an allergic reaction or inflammation. It has more to do with a certain set of genes in your body. Now, now we're not talking about Levi's, we're talking like DNA type genes. So here is why beta alanine causes this tingling or prickling sensation on your skin after you take it. So beta alanine activates a group of genes known as MOS related genes, which are closely related to sensory neurons. Now sensory neurons you can think of as the neural highway through our body that run and end at the skin. So when you ingest beta alanine, this really excites these sensory neurons and that's why you get this tingling sensation all over your skin. Now, some people express these genes a little bit more than others, so they may feel the effects of beta alanine a lot more than somebody that may not feel it at all. And you're especially gonna feel it in your, your hands in your face because this is a lot of where the sensory neurons are located or you might turn bright red. Like I know lots of people have taken beta alanine and they have just freaked the F out because it feels like they're burning alive from the inside. But I assure you, it is a harmless side effect, again called paresthesia, that uh, is caused by the beta alanine intake. Now, is there is there anything you can do about this to minimize this paresthesia? Because for some people, like they really like it, it kind of signifies it's go time, and for other people, it's really annoying. It feels like you're going to itch the skin right off your face. And there are a couple different things you can do to maybe minimize or get rid of these this effects of paresthesia altogether. One is you can eat a little something something before you take in your beta alanine, whether it's in Perform Elite or a standalone beta alanine product. So you can eat something like a banana and then drink or take your beta alanine and that may minimize uh, the effects. Also, you can space out dosages throughout the day if you if you have that uh, option. So 3.2 grams daily, you can divide that up into three equal doses or two equal doses and that may just eliminate the paresthesia altogether. Also, the more you take beta alanine, it seems like the less the paresthesia happens. So for that first, I'd say week or week and a half, if you're really sensitive uh, to the beta alanine, that's how long it might take when you're taking it every day to kind of to downplay or minimize that tingling sensation, <laughs> which again can be really, really flipping annoying. So that is your scientific non-bro science answer on why beta alanine causes that prickling, tingling sensation in your skin after you take it. So that is all I have for today. If you have a friend who freaks the F out after taking beta alanine because of these effects, please share this video with them. If you want other videos like this on endurance training, nutrition, supplementation, busting the BS, and my other random musings, subscribe to the Endure Elite YouTube channel or head on over to the Endure Elite blog at www.endureelite.com. Get social with us on InstaSlam and the Endure Elite family of fast Facebook page. And until next time, my endurance friends, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.